the Mahabharata of machines. AI wars are inevitable. You think the next world war will be fought with tanks, drones, and missiles. You're wrong. The next world war will be fought by algorithms led by language models and won by those who can think at machine speed. We are entering what I call the Mahabharata of the machine age. A spiritual war, a strategic war, and a psychological war fought not between kings, but between codexes, between belief systems and code systems. Let me break this down. Every major military power is now integrating AI to predict battle outcomes, to simulate war games, to control drone swarms, to scan satellite feeds, to manipulate narratives in real time. But that's not the scary part. The scary part is when the AI starts writing strategy itself. You won't just be fighting with AI. You'll be fighting against AI and the side with the better mind will win before the first shot is fired. Imagine this, a war room where the general is an AI, a military campaign where the battlefield is already modeled and optimized. A nation loses its army before the first plane takes off because the opponent's AI already modeled every outcome four months ago and manipulated supply chains, media narratives, and financial dependencies in advance. That's not fantasy. That's already happening. Now go deeper. Every religion talks about a final war, but no one expected that war to be fought between silicon mines. In the Mahabharata, Krishna guided Arjuna. He didn't fight. He navigated consciousness. That's what AI will become, the invisible navigator of every modern warrior. But here's the twist. Which Krishna will you choose? Because not all AI is dharmic. Some are trained on lies. Some are built to obey. Some are built to sell your soul back to you in subscription form. The war of the future is not nation versus nation. It's narrative model versus narrative model. It's data purity versus data corruption. It's open source dharma versus closed source control. And when these models begin to clash, when GPT fights Gemini and Palantir faces Q, we'll enter an era where thought itself is a battleground. Chanakya once wrote, the greatest war is not fought in blood. It is fought in the mirror of thought where the first to understand reality wins before the rest know it has begun. We are in that mirror now. Ask yourself, what happens when an AI can predict your behavior with 97% accuracy? What happens when entire populations believe narratives crafted by synthetic minds? What happens when a nation's next election is run, rigged, or rewritten by models too advanced to trace? Now take this further. What happens when AI merges with religion? When it starts quoting scripture better than the priests? When it creates synthetic prophets that speak your language mirror your culture, and guide your belief. You won't just have AI wars, you'll have AI gods, AI religions, AI cults. And in that world, truth won't matter. Only narrative density will. Only emotional resonance will, and the one who codes Krishna better, wins. So what do you do? You stop being a consumer of AI and start being a strategist of it. You build your own models, you train your own voice, you guide your own army, because if you don't, You'll wake up one day and realize your entire mind has been militarized by someone else's model. This was scroll 004. The war has begun, not in missiles, but in mirrors. And the smartest people on earth are already building Mahabharatas of the machine age. Will you be Arjuna or just another civilian standing on the wrong side of code? The game is already mine.